You're watching Detroit's own WHPR TV, Detroit Live. Mother's Day is less than 10 days away. Hi, I'm Joshua Cronk, and I'm the son of Reverend Dr. Monica D. Cronk. My mother has four sons and no daughters. And all I want to say to you, mothers, I love you very much, and thank you for everything you've done for me. And for you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. And stay tuned for this life-changing message with Reverend Dr. Monica D. Cronk. She's a mother, a daughter, sister, friend, medical instructor, and counselor. Welcome to the broadcast of Help Us Near Missionary Ministry. This broadcast is designed to equip individuals with practical biblical teachings from God's Word. Now introducing evangelist, preacher, teacher, Reverend Dr. Monica D. Cronk. Alley, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf, which is his testimony, also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You know, the Lord's word is truly a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my pathway. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to Help Us Near Missionary Ministry. The table is set, the bread of life is ready, and we are ready to serve you the Word of God. I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Monica D. Crunk, the pastor of Help Us Near Missionary Ministry Church, located in the heart of Taylor, Michigan. I invite you now to feel free to grab a pen and some paper for the purpose of taking notes. And by the end of the broadcast, the announcer will give you some valuable information. I have a positive quote for you. Ready? For look for something positive in each day, even if some days you have to look a little harder. And now to the best part of life, God's word. Today's title, A Virtuous Woman. In Proverbs chapter 31, verses one through 31, King Lemuel had a virtuous mother and how do I know such things? Because the king said so in verse one. Listen, these are the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son, and what the son of my wound, and what the son of my vows, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. This woman was not only virtuous, but wise as well. I believe this woman prayed for her child while he was yet in her womb. I believe this woman prayed for her child not only once, but throughout her pregnancy. And then as the child grew, she laid hands on him and prayed even more. She invested in her son and this investment paid off with great dividends. I like that. Mother's Day is just around the corner, and I pray that this day that is set aside for you will be a memorable one. Although I am a mother, I, have, I am a daughter first, amen? I have had the pleasure of having my mother live with me in my home for over 15 years now, and there is nothing my mother will not do for me she has been a star in our home as a loving grandmother toward my four sons and assisting me. In every way possible, my mother has been there for over 15 years. My mother is truly a friend, a companion, a sister, and someone I can depend on forever. So mother, if you are watching, and when you do watch this broadcast, what is your request and what is your petition? And if I am able, I will fulfill it. Happy Mother's Day to the head queen of my home, amen. Listen to me, my audience. It is very hard 
to find a virtuous woman. For the scripture states, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. You can't compare money, gold, silver, or anything to this virtuous woman. She's priceless. She has a heart after God. She's beautiful inwardly and so much so that her outward parts glow. She's trustworthy, honest, truthful, faithful, a hard worker. Oh my goodness. And she is busy doing the work of the Lord. Wow. Don't touch that dial. I am going to take a quick commercial break. But when I return, I have something special I would like to share with you. You, so you don't want to miss the second half of the program. You just might want to contact a friend or perhaps a loved one and invite them to watch this life-changing message. Amen. I'll be right back after this message. Looking for a place to grow and learn all the truths of God? Well, I have the place for you. I'm Reverend Dr. Monica D. Crunk, pastor of Help Us Near Missionary Ministry Church. Worship with us Sunday. Start your morning off with refreshing your soul with Sunday school at 10 a.m. And at 11 a.m., let's worship God together. There are exciting things happening at Help Us Near Missionary Ministry Church. You don't want to miss our midweek fellowship together as we break the bread of life during our Wednesday evening Bible study class that starts at 7 p.m. And afterwards, have a bite to eat with me and all the wonderful saints of God. How awesome is that? We are located in the heart of Taylor, Michigan, 24448 Ecourse Road, Taylor, Michigan, 48180. Again, we are located at 24448 Ecourse Road, Taylor, Michigan, 48180. Call us at 248-636-5793 or write us at P.O. Box 432-032, Pontiac, Michigan, 48343 or by email, ministry at gmail.com. Help Is Near says thank you to all our supporters and remember, fellowshipping with God is the best part of life. Amen. Welcome back. I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Monica D. Cronk, the pastor of Help Us Near Missionary Ministry Church. We are on the subject, who can find a virtuous woman? According to Proverbs chapter 31, verses 1 through 31, King Lemuel was a man that no doubt loved, honored, and had great faith in his mother. For verse 1 shares this with us. Proverbs chapter 31, 1 states, the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. His mother, I have no doubt again, was perhaps a prophetess and definitely a God-fearing woman. King Lemuel will testify shortly through the Holy Scriptures about what she taught him as he grew into a man. Proverbs 31 starts with, will you listen, my son? That's a question. Will you believe? the son of my womb, another question. And will you obey me, my son of my vows? I like that. I believe this mother vowed to, God, to train this young man up in the way he should go. I believe that this woman trained him by the way that she walked. We surely and truly should be training our children by the life that we need, we lead by the example we set before them and by the words we speak and by the things we allow or disallow in their precious lives. In Proverbs chapter 31, three, the king testifies that his mother taught him to give not his strength to women, nor to anything that might destroy him as a king. In other words, she was teaching him to be mindful and careful of the company and the companionship he he kept. 
Be a man of God, she stated to him. Be a man after God's own heart. She taught him further by saying, it is not good for kings, my son, to drink liquor. She taught him to be mindful as a young man, not to drink strong liquor. And as an older gentleman, to stay sober and alert. Why are you saying this, virtuous mother? Verse five tells us why. Lest you drink and forget the law and all your teachings and pervert the judgment of your way, King Lemuel, and the ways of others. Strong alcoholic beverages numb the senses and the nerves, which is turned, excuse me, which in turn has the ability to cause loss of memory. Heavy drinking, heavy drinkers face higher risk of mouth, throat, and esophagus cancers. Moderate drinking in the presence of tobacco use can risk of, can be a risk to stomach and intestinal cancers. Colon cancer is also a risk. The symptoms of alcohol withdrawal may include nausea and vomiting. An estimated 88,000 people, approximately 62,000 men and 26,000 women, die from alcohol-related causes annually, making alcohol the fourth leading preventable cause of death in the United States. In 2014, alcohol-impaired driving fatalities accounting for 9,967 deaths, 31% of overall driving fatalities. That is a lot. And then, let's think about globally. 3.3 million deaths was attributed to alcohol consumption. Wow, what a virtuous mother in her teaching to her son. She cared so much for her son that when she teaches him, she teaches him not only the what, but the what, when, where, and whys. She continued to teach her son Lemuel in verses six and seven, if you're reading your scripture. We're in Proverbs chapter 31, verses six and seven. To give strong liquor to a person that is ready to die or give a little wine to those that are grieved and going through. Now that's what the scripture says. If you're gonna give liquor, give it to someone that is ready to die or to someone that is grieved. Why is that? Why did she say that? Because strong liquor numbs the body, the mind, and decreases pain. She also taught him to have compassion on the poor and upon all those that are in need. Be honest, Lemuel, be loving. That's what I teach my sons, to be true and genuine, God-fearing, faithful, committed, and righteous. And finally, his mother desired for her son to live the rest of his life with a woman that was truly virtuous. Listen to the kind of woman she prayed for her son to be blessed with. Verses 10 through 31 states, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he her husband shall have no need of anything. This woman, she provides. He may be the working man out going to work, but this woman is at home doing all that she can do to provide for her family and her husband. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. This woman is not lazy. This woman is diligent in everything that she does. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar, from faraway lands. I like this. This woman is not sitting all day long in the house when the children is at school and the husband is at work looking at soap operas. Mm -mm, no, not. This woman is busy. She rises also while it is yet night and give meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. Now I like that. You know what that says? This woman gets up before everybody else in the house and she prepares breakfast. She's a kind woman. She knows what her family needs. She's taking care of the needs of her children, her husband, and if there's guests in the house, she takes care of them too. She considered a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. 
Ah, you know what we're saying? Is when again, the children are gone to school, husband is at work, and everyone is gone. This woman goes outside and she works as well. She does whatever she needs to do to provide for her family. She considereth the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planteth a vineyard. She's working hard in the backyard, perhaps, or she's working hard wherever she needs to work to provide. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengthen her arms. This is a hardworking woman. Maybe perhaps when you see her, she seems to be kind of strong, not only inwardly, but outwardly. I like this woman. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. She's confident. Her merchandise, she said, is good. She's very confident. Her candle goeth not out by night. In other words, she's even busy in the middle of the night. I'm sure she rests, but she makes sure her family is cared for before she lays her sweet little head down. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. You know what that means? This woman, she makes things. She sews, she's creative. This woman is like mm, a blessing from God. And I know her family is crazy about her. She stretcheth forth out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She's not selfish. Not only she's taking care of family at home, her husband, family and friends, but she's taking care of those that are in need. Are we like that? When there's a need on the outside, do we reach out our hands to be a blessing and a help? Or do we say, I have mine, now you gotta get yours. But she helps the poor and the needy. She's not afraid of the snow. For her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. That means she has the best. God is so good to her that he is their Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh means God is my provider, for provider. Not only in the springtime, but the summer, the winter, and the fall. I like this. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. You know, you might not have a lot of riches and you might not have a lot of money, but what are you doing with the little that you have? Because little is much when God is in it. Wow, what a woman, what a virtuous woman and a wife. Now, for the sake of our precious time, I will conclude who this most wonderful virtuous mother is by saying this. She's creative, intelligent, a businesswoman, as well as a homemaker. She's strong mentally, psychologically, and emotionally. She's honorable, judging what is good and evil. She's optimistic and full of wisdom. This virtuous mother is a kind and gracious to everyone she knows and everyone she meets. She's especially fond of her family and will give her life for them. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done virtuous things, but listen to this. But this woman excels them all. Wow, what a testimony. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth and believes in God Almighty, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her and be a testimony. Now this is a virtuous woman. It's stated that many women have done virtuous things, but this woman has excelled all of them. She stands alone because of who she is. So you see, this virtuous woman on, only desires for her son, King Lemuel, that which to be with somebody that which she is. For she was a virtuous mother. She was a virtuous woman, I believe. To all my four sons, I want you guys to have integrity. Your mother desires for you to follow peace with all men and holiness, for without which no man shall see the Lord. That's found in Hebrews chapter 14, chapter 12, 14. And by God's grace, seek a woman 
who is a virtuous woman of God. Men out there, seek a woman that is a virtuous woman. And you women, be a virtuous woman. To the mothers out there, what's your story? Are you a virtuous mother in the sight of God? How do you stand? And if you are not, it's time to become the virtuous mother God intended you to be. It's never too late to start because it is the ending that counts. For the scripture states, where sin abound, amen. Grace did much abound. Romans chapter five, verse 20. Again, where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. You know, grace means unmerited favor. We have received grace and unmerited favor from God Almighty when we did not deserve it, but he gave it to us anyway. What a blessing that is. We don't deserve it, but he gave it to us anyway. So I'm calling out to all the queens and the kings out there, stand up and rise up for the time is near. The time is here. Help is near missionary ministry says kings and queens stand up for who will serve the Lord. The harvest is truly plenteous, but the laborers are few. We need to pray to the Lord of the harvest that there may be workers for his field. I'm a worker. How about you? And this grace that we talked about is truly from God through Jesus Christ, who came to the earth full of what? Grace and truth. Mm, what a wonderful blessing. It is Mother's Day in less than 10 days. Perhaps you're out there and maybe your mother and you have not spoken in a long, long time. Life is too short. The Lord makes no mistakes. The mother he has given you, he knows who she is and he knows who you are. It's time to come back together. It's time to reunite. It's time to forgive. So if you have a mother out there that is still alive, go seek your mother out and tell her that you love her. Go back down memory lane when you had precious times. Perhaps you and your mother are so very close. Amen. So on Mother's Day, how about go to church? Start off with church, the house of God, and then maybe perhaps some dinner, lunch, brunch, whatever. Be a blessing. To all you men and women, go to your mothers, run to your mothers, and love on them. I'm so thankful to have my mother still with me in my home for the last 15 years. Actually, this morning, as I was going to work, she gave me a note as I left the house. And she says, read it when you get in the car. So when I got in the car, I decided, let me read it. My mother said, read it. I'm going to be obedient and read this letter. She wrote a letter and she says, on Mother's Day, all I want is one or two things. And the things that she asked for was so humble. It was very simple. Guess what? I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to do it. Although I was going to do something beautiful for her anyway. But because she asked for something specific, I'm going to give it to her. Praise God. She's my mother. She's been with me 15 years and has taken care of my sons and helped me as I go off to work. I'm a medical instructor and I'm off to work Monday through Friday. And guess what my mother is? She's a virtu virtuous woman. She's a virtuous mother. She's at home taking care of my children. Praise God. Thank you, mother. I want to tell you, I love you now and forever. And I'll always take care of you. We should never allow our mothers or fathers to go anywhere with us without us taking good care of them. Pay for their next meal. Pay for the things that they need. Amen? Because they're our mother. You are invited to join me this Sunday and let's worship together. Help is near Missionary Ministry Church. Sunday school begins at 10 a.m. Refreshments to follow. And at 11 a.m., worship with us. During our midweek Wednesday night Bible study class, we break bread twice with the word of God first and then a bite to eat for our tummies. How about that? I like that. Great and exciting things are happening in God's kingdom. We're located at 24448 
Ecourse Road, Taylor, Michigan, 48180. Please feel free to call me, 248-636-5793. As always, I am delighted to serve you the Word of God. Help Us Near Missionary Ministry asks for you to partner with us by spreading the gospel all over the world. Prayerfully consider sending a financial blessing today, or perhaps make a pledge to financially support Help Us Near Monthly. I am sure your reward from God will be great here in the earth and when you meet God in heaven, I mean that. And did you know when you bless the ministry with your financial gift of any size, you are blessing God and we say thank you. Let's keep the spiritual light of Christ burning together because soul winning is our goal. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Amen. I like that. That's found in Luke chapter 6. 38. Let's keep the light shining together by the teaching of God's word. If you would like prayer, don't hesitate. Call me. Or what about sharing your testimony? I'm Reverend Dr. Monica D. Cronk, pastor of Help Us Near Missionary Ministry Church. Until next time, remember this, fellowshipping with God is the best part of life. Amen. This has been a Help Us Near Missionary Ministry broadcast with Reverend Dr. Monica D. Cronk. Continue watching her every week and feel free to contact our ministry with your prayer, praise, and testimony. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, please prayerfully consider sowing a financial seed into the ministry. Our address is P.O. Box 432-032, Pontiac, Michigan, 48343, by phone, 248-636-5793. That's 248-636-5793. Or contact us by email, helpisnearministry at gmail.com. Until next time, remember, help is near.